Alright, well today everybody we're going to be making a hold fast for the anvil, which is a tool that you use to hold, pin things down while you're working on it so it's not sliding all around the anvil. So that way you can do like chisel work or small detail work, things like that. But uh, I'm going to make it out of rebar for a few different reasons. Uh, one, I've seen people use everything from mild steel to carbon steel to make it. Um, I have a lot of rebar and I don't really have much uses for it, so I'm going to try it out as a half inch rebar. But uh, that and uh, carbon steel is harder for people to find whenever they're just starting out. So, And rebar is relatively easy to get a hold of and cheap. So this will be the first time I try to make this. and. Uh, I figured it, some people say it's got a little bit of carbon to it, so it might be a little bit better than mild steel, because it works by like springing action. We'll talk more about how, how it works. Alright, so the first step is to upset some material in the bar. Now what I do, whenever I have a longer bar like this, I use my upsetting block down here, which is just a piece of railroad plate, and I bounce it up off the ground. Now we're trying to get it up to probably twice as thick as it is now, so probably about an inch. And whatever you're doing, upsetting, always remember to keep your heat isolated. setting. You want to keep the material straight as possible. Once you get a bend in it, it's only going to bend. It's not going to upset anymore. So remember, keep your heat isolated and not too long. That'll help prevent the bending. And then try to keep it as straight as possible. upsetting for this bar. Straighten that a little bit real quick. Another thing whenever you're upsetting like this you want to rotate it, like a quarter of a turn each hit. Alright, that looks good enough. going to do is square off the bar a little bit. Square off the bar a little bit so that way when we forge in the, the bend, like the J bend, so that way it pins it to the anvil. It gives it more, uh, it gives, well no, just, it looks better that way I think anyway. Now again, I'm not entirely sure how to build, make these because it's the first one I make. So I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride and see if and if you have any better ways or tips how to do it better or if it helps anyone else. Alright now I'm going to start from where the uh, upsetting is. Start squaring off the bar. Partially because of the fact I'm not entirely sure of uh, how much length I'll need for all the bending. So I'll try to keep it a little long and then just cut off some of the excess. Straighten her up a little bit. But yeah, I've got to keep doing that a little bit. Alright, just keep squaring off the bar. 
Now what I'm going to try to do is go for more of a rectangular shape, sort of like a flat bar. I want to keep the close to the original thickness of the bar along the side, but make it a little wider across the top. And then 
that'll be our pad. The next thing we will put in uh, as close as we can get to a 90 degree bend in one heat. Because once we put the bend in, I won't be able to fit the whole bend back in my forge. That's why we upset material earlier, so that way we should have enough to be able to make a 90 degree bend without having to do an upset corner. Brush off some of the scale that's forming. Then we will get back to work on spreading out our pad. Try to widen it up a little bit and then straighten and clean everything up and then try to put the bend in it. in the bar right now. So fix that up and then try to turn up our square and our taper a little bit more. Then put in a bend. Alrighty. Now we're going to work on fixing that twist we got in our bar. Sharper, and then 
make our corner on the outside a little bit more defined. And I might forge back the bend a little bit to give it a little bit better aesthetics and uh, try to strengthen the bend a little bit. Alright. So now, try to push some of the material back up into the bend. that'll be pretty good. Whenever I work on shaping the arm here, um, I'll try to bring that in a little bit tighter. Now I'll just work on the arm. First I'll straighten it out and then I'll take it over the horn and shape it to what I think would be the right kind of shape.
It's this angle I got going on right here. It's a little too closed in. So, I just want to try to bend it out a little bit. That looks a little better. Just a tad, a tad bit. died while I was working on some things but basically all you really missed was uh, made tinkering just to get it to fit right in the anvil and then I broke the pad off on accident and I had to make a new one but I like the way this one looks now better anyway so I guess kind of worked for the best but I ain't going nowhere and then to release it you just go pink works for that and uh what else can I put under yeah we got a railroad spike it don't go nowhere all right thanks for watching uh this project was the first time I ever tried to make one of these so uh if you liked it share it if you, uh comment on it let me know what you think if you have any tips or anything you think that might help or if you just liked it and learned from it but uh yeah like it share it subscribe um just get this out there all right thanks for watching <laughs>